I'm Johnny Garage Johnson, and this is Hardcore Garage. How's everybody doing? I got some uh, special things here that I need to deal with. Um, probably haven't seen the video from Carlisle yet, but my truck broke down on the way home. So I decided to go ahead and order some things to uh, just have mainly. It's going to help me diagnose what this is, but I could have done it without this, but I, I want this very much. So let's see what's in the box. <laughs> If that made sense at all, what I was babbling about. <laughs> Ooh, I almost cut it. <laughs> what do we got here? It is a GM OBD, ODB, ODB, OBD one tester, along with the book that tells you all the different flash codes. So when you do use it, you'll know what you're doing. I know a lot of people have said, uh, just throw in, um, they, they make like a jumper key that goes in between pin one and pin two. And I think you can see them in here. I, th I believe this is one and two. And then maybe these ones down here grab the power to make this thing work. I'm not exactly sure how this, if it may still just flash the lights on the dash like the old ones. I don't see anywhere on here that it would light up or give you a number or anything. So just a little cool old school tool with the manual. I'm not even sure what brand this is here. It says tech on the back. But anyway, I thought you guys might like to see that pretty cool thing. Check it out. Hey, look, I'm missing some screws. I wonder if them fell out on the way to Carlisle. Anyway, you plug this guy in, and we put the switch on the top one, whatever it was. And let's see if we can count some flashes here. It's just staying solid. Why is that? Did I turn it too far forward? Or does the thing not work? All right, so I figured it out. <clears throat> I didn't have it shoved in far enough. You gotta really push that in there and I was kinda scared. I don't wanna break anything, bend any terminals or anything like that. So it's in all the way. Then we come up here and you'll turn your key forward without starting it. Maybe. And we'll watch the blink, so that little one, 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 and that little fast one in between there, it's actually giving me one, two, twenty-one is what that is there. And if you let it go enough, one, two, let's see here. See how it does the two slow, then the two fast? That's a twenty-two. And they are both throttle position sensor and fuel, some kind of fuel, uh, fuel pump relay, cutoff, fuel pump cutoff relay, which is on the firewall. I'm not sure where the throttle position sensor is just yet. I think it's on the air cleaner. But those are two things I'm going to go ahead and order and throw them on here and see what happens.
Well, we got the parts to fix the uh, D90, I'm assuming here. Though they don't have no labels on them. So I don't know what's what. Oh, look. It's a box inside a box. This must be the relay. Made in China. <laughs> a Chinese box dropped in an AC Delco box. Anyway, this is a uh, fuel pump override, overheat relay, something like that. I, I don't remember the exact name, but we're going to switch that out because that was one of the codes that came up. And, watch this be another box in a box? Nope, it's a bag in a box. We've got some screws. And this is the TPS, I believe, throttle position sensor. I'm going to switch that out, too. All right. In order to see what I was doing, I went ahead and pulled off, I think it was two uh, seven millimeter screws that hold this whole bracket. Goes right there. There's your uh, <clears throat> washer reservoir. Anyway, that little button right there is how you get it out. You push down on there as you pull out. I'm not going to be able to do this one handed, but it comes out just by pushing right there almost how, how I have it right now, but I just can't get it with one hand. <laughs> All right, it's out. Now, in order to get this out, you're going to need to get something, a little flat blade, and pry that center of that clip right there up because you need this plastic piece to go towards my hand, or no, the other way. We need to push it down, I think. <laughs> You'll see when it, whichever way it moves. No, push the, the metal has a T on it, so we need to push the plastic towards me my hand China. 1003422 was the same number on the other one. Actually, they're both the same number. And I'm only going off of uh, which one to change. Somebody told me to. <laughs> or which one they th said it was. <laughs> oh, look. I think I bent it up permanently, so we'll just push it back down and we're good. We'll plug her back in over here and we'll put the screws back in. Parts there's done. And let's change the next thing. Now I don't know where this even is. But before I go look, I just want to take a look around. See if I see anything that looks like that. This is what happens when you ain't a mechanic. <laughs> that guy down there? No. <laughs> That'll be 
be seventy five dollars an hour. I know what I'm doing. I'm a mechanic. Oh wait, right there it is. I found it. I found it. It's right here. Right there. And it goes in. I don't know how I'm even going to get to it. The screws or bolts or whatever we're going to call them are right there's one. Wait, can you see what I'm touching? Is that? It's not that big bolt. It's this little one over here. And there's not. See it there? Yeah, right there. Oh, there you can see the other one right there. Got the bolts a little more exposed now. And they are Torx. But. The way that's in there, I can't get to the one on the right with any kind of straight extension or ratchet or anything. So I grabbed a Allen wrench. I believe this one's an eighth, and it works. The old one is out, and a little bit scary, I guess, taking it out. <laughs> when I looked at the other one, there's these adjusters on it, it looks like. So that's kind of weird, too. But the only thing you really need to be concerned with is this little lever here. Is you want to make sure... Hopefully I can show you down in here. Um, you see this little lever there that's on the carb or uh, throttle body. You want to make sure that your your lever is to the left of that. Don't get it on the right somehow or another. I don't know how you could really even do that. but And that thing doesn't move. It's, well, at least not by my pressure. It moves somehow with the uh, throttle. So, yeah, there's where it goes. There's the new screws with those weird little washers. That's weird. The other ones were just round on the original one or the one that was on there before. So if you look, you can see those washers and that little lip there holding that washer. There's nothing on the other one there. She's all back together. Only thing to do now is to see if it runs, huh? Fingers in the way. Sorry about that, fellas. do um after you do something to a vehicle and you've pulled a code or whatever you need to disconnect the battery for a couple of minutes to blank out the computer codes that way you'll know if you fix it or if that code comes back up you know something else that would have caused that same issue so, just a tip well there you go guys hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching Wait for the next time that we open some more of these boxes. I'll eventually catch up, I promise. <laughs> Y'all take it easy. Keep on trucking. <laughs>